Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and today we're taking a look at the Phoenix case. So, first things first, we have the Mag 7 Heaven Guard. Uh, this is a skin I've used a ton, and that's because it's a very simple, kind of almost leather, grainy redesign for the most part. Then it has like red on it. I don't know what that's supposed to be, maybe blood or something. But it just has these kind of dope ass wings in the middle, and it's a pretty solid, I guess, recoloring of the skin. It's a lot more grainy than I remember. Maybe that's like a bug on my end, but if not, I mean, the, the wings just look really cool, and it's a very nice kind of color swap, uh, generally. So, for me, it's a it's a solid C tier. I don't think you can go too wrong with this one when you're using a Mag 7 skin. Then we have the UMP 45 Corporal, which is a super uninspired, very bland, very tan-looking, just UMP 45. I see no reason to ever use this. It's not like there's anything really wrong with it, but it's just, it, it almost looks, I'm pretty sure stock is also a tanned UMP 45. Um if I'm remembering correctly, and even if I'm not, it's just a very uninspired skin. There's a lot better options for you to go for, uh, even if you want uninspired skin. So, for me, it's an easy F tier. Uh, don't use this thing. doesn't look good. Then, next up, we have the Negev Terrain, which, um, yeah. Got a very interesting design. I don't even know how, what to call this, but this has, like, some type of... It's like scarred almost, like slashes of, of green going across a base black design. Uh, it looks kind of clean. Like, weirdly enough, it doesn't remind me of a camo skin. It just reminds me like almost like a Jungle Warrior skin. But it looks really cool because of the color scheme of this green and black going very well together. And gen generally the scale is... Uh, the scale. The skin is <laughs> very uh, well done. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think it, you can't really go wrong with this one either. Very good start for this collection. Uh, it's a easy C tier for me. And next up is the Tech 9 Sandstorm. It borrows the Galil Sandstorm thing, meaning it can have all purple like this. It can have more tan. It can have, obviously, different variants, but unlike the Galil, uh, I don't think that leaves as much of an impact. And I really think there's a lot better Tech 9 skins out there. Um, this is obviously still better than stock, but I think it's actually more of a D-tier skin than anything else. And next up, we have our first purple, the Famas Surgeon, which yet again, it's like the UMP-45, very bland and uninspired. The one thing I can say is there's no scratches on the front here, uh, which normally happens on Famas's, and this is like a field-tested one, it's a .14. Uh, so that's kind of cool, I guess, but really, I, I, this isn't much better than stock. Um, very bland, uninspired, just like the UMP. I think they use even the same kind of palette. I guess it's a bit nicer than the UMP just because it doesn't have scratches, which is very standard for Vermosses. I mean, the UMP didn't either, but UMPs normally don't, so it's not really a plus. But for this one, it kind of is. But still would never recommend using this thing. Just stick to stock or use like the much better other Vermos skins that are out there. Then we have the SG-553 Pulse, which is actually applied to the whole weapon skin. For some reason, the one they're showing off on CSGO Stash is, like, field-tested. So, obviously, it's going to be a bit scratched. I believe when this gets more fact new you see less scratches. I hope that's the case. Uh, if with fact new there's le more scratches, that's obviously very detrimental to the skin. But I'm assuming this is super scratched up because of its, like, either well-worn or field-tested nature. I don't really know which one it'd be. Um... But yeah, the base design, just like the FAMAS Pulse, um, really solid. It's got a very uh, basic pink and black kind of coloring, and it's like defragmenting at parts, which looks kind of cool. And even the, uh, the little thing at the top here is purple, which is a very nice touch. Uh, I don't know, otherwise relatively solid skin. And it actually uses the whole weapon skin, which is rare for the AUG-553, so I'll give it a lot of credit for that. And actually move it up to C tier. I think otherwise this would be kind of a D-tier skin. Because it's it, it's just solid, but it's nothing crazy. Anyway, next up we have the MAC-10 Heat. Which is kind of like a uh, you know, MAC-10 going through like a, like a glass blower or something. Where they have like all of magma kind of surrounding the weapon. It looks very cool. Very fucking sick. I, I really love like the very, very visible outlines of this. Uh, it looks like it was like a freshly made MAC-10 that you just ripped it straight out of like the... The kind of forging thing looks very clean. Uh, I'd say it's actually a B-tier skin. I'd almost want one of these uh, as a MAC-10 skin if there weren't so many other really solid MAC-10 skins. But this is a very solid one that you definitely can't go wrong with. 
Then next up is the USPS Guardian, which is almost stock, but then has like this this like jeans type of uh, background at the top here with a little you know, counter terrorist symbol. Um, honestly, barely looks different from stock, in my opinion. I guess it's kind of clean, but that's about all I can give it credit for. For me, it's a D tier. It's just barely better than stock. And it's it's kind of hard to convince myself to spend any kind of money getting this gun. Then next up, we have the P90 Trigon. Which I don't know why it has two stickers on it. Three stickers, actually. That's like a... Might even be a Kenny S signature. Anyway. Um, or no, that's a Dennis signature. Never mind. Um... Yeah, it's got a bunch of like triangles on it. It's got orange, gray, and and like black color scheme. Uh, that's about all there is to it. It's, it's not the best looking design. It's not completely horrible, and the color scheme is definitely very nice. I'll give it that. But for me, it is still a D tier skin. It's really not that great. Anyway, uh, next up is our first pink, the Nova Antique. Which, yeah, it's a wooden, kind of antique-looking shotgun. Uh, and the base design, it was actually changed up a little bit. So it's it's a little bit better than stock. But, um, it's not that good as far as wooden skins go. So for me, it's still a D-tier skin. It's actually very close to C-tier, though. It's a top D-tier skin. Uh, it's, it's close to being something you can't go wrong with. But there's a lot of good Nova skins out there. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, then we have the classic AK-47 Redline, one of the most liked CS skins ever. And that's because it's just a very nice, almost carbon fiber, like, black uh, redesign of the skin with some nice red lines going across it. It just looks very clean, very smooth, and I can see why people really like this one. Easy A tier, it's a classic in terms of CS skins. Then we have the All Chameleon, one of the older skins. Um... Which, yeah, it has a chameleon on the back, it doesn't use most of the skin, and it's, like, known as the cheapest red of all time for a reason. Other than this chameleon, which you'll never really see in-game, the skin has absolutely nothing else going on. Pretty much looks like stock. This is barely a D-tier, just because the chameleon looks kind of dope, but that's about it. And you almost never see the chameleon in-game, so it's just a really bad red skin. And the grand finale is the Op Asimov, probably the most classic Op skin of all time. Definitely not the best looking one, but just kind of really well known, other than, I guess, recent, uh, you know, after like 2019, the Dragon Lord got a really big spike in popularity. But before that, this was kind of the go to Op skin. Uh, looks very solid, very solid color scheme, very solid design, and just a very solid skin overall. Also, the scope and barrel cover, which is a really big plus. Probably an S tier skin. It's a really good Op skin for using the entire skin. Having a really solid color scheme and just just looking really clean overall, and uh, yeah, that's it for the Phoenix case uh, tier list. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one.